the scenario I have not discussed yet uh, and, and is also something that I think uh, often about is um, that um, altcoins, uh, that Bitcoin will go up versus uh, altcoins. Uh, that is more likely at this point, but in a scenario where actually Bitcoin is dropping in value, um, in fiat value, while also altcoins drop versus Bitcoin. Uh, I think this is also a possible scenario um, and, and not many people take that into account. Um, but I think that uh, with the troubles in Bitcoin, we could get again a failure of the of of of, of uh, a new um, a new bubble, uh, a failure again that uh, Bitcoin breaks out uh, above thousand three hundred um, into a new bubble, uh, but uh, goes down again. Um, now it's a thousand two hundred twenty. Um, so and it goes down again to thousand and then. But then it really like collapses. Uh, it, last time that happened was to 900 or 800, but I think it could go deeper too. Um, well, first to there, then up, and then the, a few months later, a new, a new, uh, a new low of maybe around five, six hundred. I think that's possible. And altcoins, well, may actually not go up. May hold versus Bitcoin. Um, but um, and some altcoins may pump but then some others may go down and so overall the altcoin market also goes down in fiat value I think that's a, a certainly a possibility if you look at the uh, Bitcoin um, is at its highest uh, in, 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 um, in, um, in market cap it's again at uh, I don't know, 15 billion or so eh? but you have to put everything in perspective only two years ago um, in 2015, um, yeah. in 2015, Bitcoin bottomed at 150 dollars. Huh? At the start of 2015, at 160 dollars, and um, there were some altcoins then. Huh? It was one year after the big bubble in 2013. Um, there were some altcoins, but the total market cap. Uh, NXT, for example, bid shares. Um, uh, you had Counterparty uh, at the time, and you have some newcomers like you had Ripple already then, and you had also um, Aurora Coin, and um, so so this was the early uh, 2015. But everyone was focused on the bear market of Bitcoin eh, that had dropped from 1,200 to now uh, 200 dollars. Eh? Um, and then the, the market cap of, of Bitcoin and altcoins together was around 3 billion. Huh? This is two years ago. Huh? Since then, Bitcoin has gone up from 200 to 1,200 now. Huh? So from 3 billion or 2 billion to now 15 billion or so. Huh? Because in two years you also have inflation. Huh? So the price goes up, but also the amount of coins goes up. And then the altcoin market has exploded huh? from uh, less than a billion to now 10 billion. Huh? Um, so, um, the total market cap of Bitcoin plus altcoins went up from 3 billion to 30 billion in two years, eh, times 10. Eh? Um, and so, we could easily get a correction to, not, uh, to a market cap of not 30 billion, but let's say 15 billion, half of that. And then it is still up uh, from 3 to 15, then it's still up times 5 eh, in the last two years. And it may hover there. For some time before you have a new bubble, probably then in altcoins, um, and that brings it up again. But so 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 indeed, the past two years you had one way up uh, for Bitcoin and altcoins, and so just a correction in fiat value is certainly possible. In the cryptocurrency world, uh, you have plenty of projects that uh, well have a very high chance of like actually. Um, over the next one two years, just completely die, huh? uh, lose their main lead developer, and, and, and it, or, or, or get delisted uh, from a big exchange, and, and and there's no really, uh, and it's just gone. And, and, and right now, these projects are valued at 10 million easily, huh? and, and, but without any real. If you look critically to the project, it's just 
some of these projects may succeed but it's very risky and up until now they have zero adoption eh, or very low adoption and so it may all fall in the water eh? uh, so there's certainly no profits um, being made yet eh? you know, so 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 it's, so I think it's very important to look at this market from this perspective right now um, because the, yeah there is just it, this is a good time to look at it from that perspective um, because because it's a very good time to sell some of your shit coins right now eh, for such valuations and so not only go to from altcoins to Bitcoin eh, but also go just to fiat increase your exposure to fiat investments uh, uh, fiat investments that are um, able to withstand of course eh, a financial crisis um, and from that perspective uh, I'm, I'm looking for uh, opportunities I heard uh, a great interview with a with a with a, um, a money manager um, actually he's not managing money anymore but I will link it below he, st he talks about uh, the big opportunity in uh, the Iran stock market where the PE ratios of stocks are only um, three or so and and so Iran has been devastated by 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 the religious government the past uh, three thirty years, uh, and of course also um, uh, um, uh, the boycott uh, of America uh, and the West, uh, and so uh, the, the the valuations of stocks uh, are are very low. This I think can be a, a very interesting investment because this is resistant to a, a, a financial crisis will be. A, in the West and the East, but not uh, in, in, in like markets that have been really like uh, threatened by war and, and have been devastated. Like th there, you will not see the prices go down, even if you have a global financial crisis. Um, it, it could actually double uh, during uh, or uh, especially stay fixed. And, and PE ratios, you have also very high dividend yields. Eh? So if the PE ratio is only three four. You have dividends of thirty percent or so, right? so. So, so that's a very interesting investment. And and and, and what do you get? You you, you buy a, a stock index of companies that have been leading eh, and that have been leading uh, their their businesses, their their sectors uh, that have like track records of many 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 years that have great profit margins or great growth um, uh, and so the risk is so much lower there than um, in altcoins um, or even in bitcoin eh? because bitcoin ha indeed i think it's a good time to invest to shift from altcoins to bitcoin but bitcoin is indeed quite risky right now um, why i believe it's a good investment right now is because indeed many people um, are negative about Bitcoin now due to the problems uh, in, the, in, in there and, and so you have the, the, basically the big bloggers uh, they have been selling some of their coins for Ethereum and other coins because they don't like the rising fees and they hate on the uh, block like uh, on the small blockers and, and they are a little bit more pessimistic about Bitcoin and then you have the, the small blockers they are also hating on on the other team and and, and, and I've also been selling some of their Bitcoin for altcoins uh, or, or, or for fiat investments. That's been what's been going on basically. People have been selling Bitcoin due to the problems. The atmosphere generally is negative. And so that's why I think this is priced in. And, 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 and from here, there is a good chance it goes up and, and people start to become more positive again um, about Bitcoin. And you get some finally some maybe real solutions, either uh, a compromise um, or a fork. Uh, um, in both cases, I think um, uh, it will be good. Uh, personally, I think in both cases the value of Bitcoin can go up se seriously um, for a while, because after that, uh, 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 yeah, it will go probably back to altcoins. And there is also something else that's important. And that is like if you look at the, at the mass market, the mass market, um, and thank you so much for the commenters uh, on my videos. Some of them are very intelligent, and I really love reading them. 
uh, one commenter said that yeah you, you you do need just a real crypto bubble and that is led by bitcoin to really attract a lot of new capital and i think that's true um people don't invest in something they never heard of and so a lot of people are ready to invest in bitcoin because they've heard about it already three four years ago once and then uh, they have heard about it five times or so so they know the name and and so that's what needs to happen before people put money in and so uh, this is not the case with many of the altcoins yeah in the crypto community we all know by now of course ethereum and, and dash and everything that has pumped we we, we know the names uh, but um but that's not the case in, in, in the wide market. So, so, so I do think that, and that's why I do think that, that, that it is quite probable that Bitcoin will go up versus altcoins. It will, it's probable in a bull market because Bitcoin will, is still the first that will attract new capital. And so if we get a bear market from here, um, then um, altcoins that basically come from one, you know, have gone times ten, whereas Bitcoin has o only done times um, three or so, and and so or, or four or five, and and so um, uh, in a bear market, um, yeah, altcoins will go down more. Uh, but of course, you have levels there. You have you have the the. the the quality altcoins will go down less, uh, but the shit coins will go down more. Um, so, um, uh, people in the world of cryptocurrency, the safety asset is Bitcoin still today. So, so voila. Uh, that's why I think that 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 um, um, it's wise to diversify also uh, towards fiat. Um, and and so right now, I think uh, it's it's a good time to really uh, focus on, on on okay how much fiat do i have fiat investment non-crypto non-crypto investments in my portfolio uh, how much percent is that of my portfolio and um, um is that enough and and what i often do is think about okay what if it happens how will i feel uh, about my actions today uh, let's say uh, uh, bitcoin goes down to five six hundred altcoins um or cut in two two um and so basically all my crypto investments are cut in two in fiat value. Uh, and, 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 and how will I feel about my actions today? And and if if, if I look at the the fiat value I have now secured, well, it's not very high. If I lose half of my portfolio, I will say fuck, uh, because hey, I still have now uh, eighty percent in crypto and only twenty percent in fiat investments. So that eighty percent will be cut in half, uh, and so. Yeah, my portfolio overall will be cut, uh, will, will lose 40% of its value. That's a lot. And so um, that means to make that up again, I need to double again. Uh, and, and, and when that happens, you feel very insecure because you never know when it's finished. It could go, go down even more. So you may start to make unwise decisions right at the worst time. So now it's a very good uh, time to think about this and, and, and to see, okay, Let's say it, it, it's cut in half. How, how will I feel? Uh, like, will I have enough fiat investments to make me feel good that I did the right moves today? Uh, and so these are the questions I ask. And um, yeah, I hope you ask them too. So, 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 so my previous video was titled "Prepare for Bitcoin to Surge eh? to Go Up," but actually there is another way for Bitcoin to gain uh, market dominance again versus altcoins um, because that's the most probable scenario right now that Bitcoin will rebound versus altcoins. But there is another way for it uh, to happen and that is that Bitcoin does not surge, it does not go into a new all-time high, but it goes sideways as it has been doing for the past half year while at the same time and so it's not really crashing um, it just stays around thousand dollars but at the same time altcoins 
correct uh, versus Bitcoin. Um, that's possible and we, we don't expect that because up until now the way it has gone is that Bitcoin goes up versus altcoins always when Bitcoin is surging and when Bitcoin goes from 200 to 500 dollars and then from 500 to 800 and, and then from 800 to 1200 in these periods uh, altcoins would like um, go down versus Bitcoin because everybody's focused on the Bitcoin bubble. But uh, what, what may be possible now is that, well, everybody is just thinks quite similar about Bitcoin now, namely that, well, it has problems. So people continue to be focused on the altcoins, but this time they are focused on the altcoin correction instead of the altcoin bubble. Eh? And so, because actually Bitcoin has like altcoins have gone up times 10 in the past two years in fiat value and the past month they have actually gone up as so of first they went up from around 1 billion to uh, around two and a half billion um, and then the past month they have gone up from two and a half billion to 10 billion so um, but actually what did bitcoin do the past two, two years actually the past three years it actually did not do anything because it's still at thousand dollars. So while Bitcoin did nothing in the past three years, altcoins really became a big deal and, and are almost equally valuable now as Bitcoin. So, 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 so it is possible that Bitcoin fails to go into a new bubble, but at the same time, altcoins correct in fiat value. Uh, and, and even if that happens, that's really like still not a problem for altcoins because they have gone up from 1 billion to 10 billion. So they can correct to 5 billion or 6 billion and lose about half their fiat value and versus Bitcoin, uh, half their Bitcoin value. Uh, and then still um, um, uh, over the next two, three months and then find the bottom there and then go up uh, again versus Bitcoin. While at the same time, Bitcoin doesn't do much. That's, that's possible. Because uh, I started to think about this because I've seen I was wrong in my video two, three days ago when, oh no, uh, the previous video of Bitcoin surging, my, my, when I was talking about the periods when Bitcoin has been losing a lot of market dominance. Um, actually, the first uh, period was indeed in the bubble of 2013. After it went to thousand dollars, then the altcoins did a final big bubble uh, in early 2014, and, and a lot of them went up, like Litecoin and NXT at the time, and and, and many others, Deutsche Coin, and uh, like it was just a mania then, and and that's the first time that Bitcoin really lost a, mar a lot of market dominance. But then uh, you had the bear market and all these altcoins uh, cor corrected a lot more than Bitcoin and Bitcoin went up again in market dominance. But then what happened in, in, in early 2015 is that Bitcoin actually suddenly like went a lot deeper from 500 to $160. And, and at that point, the altcoins actually uh, did not do such a, a heavy correction. And that's in that phase, Bitcoin lost again a lot of market dominance. Uh, but then since then it has only lost market dominance when it was going up a lot more than the altcoins. Uh, but, uh, but now I think uh, that's a possible scenario. I just wanted to let you know that guys, um, because I just um, actually decided to uh, uh, so push up my fiat position uh, to 25%. And, and, and so, uh, but I, I paid uh, for that, um, yeah with Bitcoin, uh, but maybe I should pay for that with uh, altcoins because, um, uh, yeah, I think um, the most probable scenario is indeed that um, that Bitcoin goes up versus altcoins for the coming period. Bye.